Hey guys, Flash Sport Loves over here bringing you another transfer talk video because of course this is the video where I round up some of the biggest confirmed deals and some of the biggest rumours that are circulating around the rumour mill that is the transfer window. So without further ado, let's begin. We're going to kick off with the biggest deal so far, arguably, in this transfer window. And that is, of course, the confirmation that Nathan Ake has joined Manchester City from Bournemouth. Of course, last week, the news broke that Bournemouth had accepted a £41 million bid for the Dutch centre-back. And yesterday, the news broke that City fans were all waiting for the confirmation that Ake had signed for Manchester City and is now officially a City player. Ake has signed on the dotted line of a five-year contract and has just boosted and beefed up Pep Guardiola's centre-back options as they now range from the likes of John Stones, Nicolas Otamendi, Imeric Laporte, uh, makeshift centre-back Fernandinho because, of course, Fernandinho has been playing a lot of centre-back this season in the absence of Laporte through injury. And now, of course, Nathan Ake joins them ranks, joins that hierarchy, joins the squad of Manchester City who are properly trying to close that gap that Liverpool created on them this season in the race for the Premier League title. And it could be interesting going forward to see how Guardiola balances this this uh, kind of side out, this kind of uh, centre-back squad he's got. Uh, you'd have to think that Americ Laporte is the definite starter and you might have to say that with the hefty price tag that Nathan Ake has got on him now, Maybe he is the guy to partner him, which would be very interesting having two left-footed centre-backs in centre-back in the centre-back roles. Um, of course, it's not a natural kind of thing, so it is a bit more unusual than having two right-back centre-backs in the same roles. So it'll be interesting to see how that balances itself out. And of course, City are apparently not done there. City are apparently still after some targets. There's still rumours flying around that City are still looking to sign more players. They've already signed a few players already this summer. And it doesn't seem like Pep Guardiola wants to stop there in the hopes of reclaiming his Premier League title. So that is that. It's official. Nathan Ake to Manchester City is a done deal. Coincidentally, Premier League champions Liverpool are the feature of our next story as they are said to have interest in Norwich left-back Jamal Lewis as, they, as he has been on their radar. 22-year-old was, of course, part of Norwich's squad which got relegated from the Premier League this season. However, Lewis was one of a few Canaries players that caught the eye this season and Liverpool's eyes seem to have been caught the most by him. The Reds are reportedly not set to make huge waves of all due respect during this transfer window. They are more looking for squad players to beef up certain areas. And of course, left back certainly is in need of that as the Reds look for a backup to their current starter in Andy Robertson. The Reds are reportedly looking to do business from around the £10 million mark. He made 28 appearances last season and did look a bit of a rough around the edges attacking left back at Norwich. That with better players around him, he can definitely be moulded into something better, you feel. Ultimately though, this is the Reds attempting another bargain deal or what's being adopted by this sport as a bit of a money ball kind of deal. However, Norwich aren't set to budge. They're looking for a bit more of a hefty price tag, it's being rumoured. And so we wait and see if any further developments happen here on Jamal Lewis to Liverpool. Next, we move to Arsenal, and could a rival player be joining the Gunners this summer on a freebie? It was reported yesterday that Arsenal have apparently tabled a three-year contract to Brazilian winger Willian. Of course, we spoke about Willian before on a previous video, and it seemed that Chelsea were ready to renew his contract with the club as his current contract expires once Chelsea's season is officially over. However, the stumbling block seems to be that the contract's longevity with Willian wanting a three-year contract, but the Blues are only willing to give him a two-year extension. However, reports have come out that Arsenal, Chelsea's fierce rivals of course, and of course the runners-up to Arsenal in the FA Cup that was played last, uh, last weekend of course, are said to be interested in taking the 31-year-old to the Emirates. We of course wait and see what Willian decides to do with his future as there are still rumours floating around of Willian also being on Barcelona and into Miami's radar as well. 
But of course, if he does choose Arsenal, he will be joining the recent FA Cup champions and will be challenging Nicolas Pepe for his position on the right wing. The 31-year-old has made 339 appearances for Chelsea over his seven-year stay with the club, scoring 63 goals and assisting 62 times. Our penultimate story in this video is sort of old, but sort of new at the same time, as Alexis Sanchez has made his move to Inter Milan permanent. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer confirmed that Sanchez will not be returning to Manchester United following United's Europa League win last night. And the Chilean winger today has signed a three-year contract with the Italian club. Of course, Sanchez has spent the past current season on loan at Inter, making 30 appearances in all competitions for the Italian club, scoring four goals and assisting 10 times, although injury did hinder him for a couple of months. Of course, Sanchez joined United from Arsenal in 2018 in that infamous swap deal that benefited absolutely nobody as Henrik M. Katarian was sent the other way. Um, but as far as this deal goes, I don't really follow on a lot of Serie A, I've got to admit. But from what I hear, that he's actually enjoyed a better season out there than he has had in the past few years of being in the Premier League. Um, of course, that league is more known as being a bit slower and a bit more defensive, so that may actually have suited Sanchez's uh, abilities, obviously, as he got older and stuff like that. So, fair play to him. Of course, there is there is a report suggesting that United are still having to pay a large and hefty amount of his wages, and believe me, he is on a hell of a lot of money per week. So, you, so for United, he's not completely off the books, but this is a start in the right direction of getting some dead wood off of United's squad and, of course, off their wage books. And Sanchez leaving permanently kind of ties in a little to our final story, which is, of course, about Jadon Sancho as the whole Jadon Sancho saga rumbles on. Nothing really to add for, on this story from me personally that you've been hearing from everybody else everywhere seemingly for ages. Sancho of course is one of Europe's hottest prospects and, is, and he is still being heavily linked with a move to Manchester United of course. There are conflicting reports coming out every single day about how close both United and Borussia Dortmund are to agreeing a deal. Because, of course, it is Manchester United, so not only are they linked with every single player's name under the sun, but, of course, every journalist wants to get on this as soon as possible with their their take, their their what they've heard and stuff like that. So, of course, there are going to be a lot of reports coming out about this. And I only really put it here in this video because now with Sanchez gone, United's number seven shirt is once again fully vacant. Will it be worn by the young England winger next season at Old Trafford? Only time will tell. And with that, that about wraps it up for this transfer talk video. But I want to know what you guys think. I want to know what you guys think of the Nathan Ake deal to Manchester City. As well as I want to know what you guys think of the Alexis Sanchez permanent deal to Inter Milan. What do you think of the rumours linking Jamal Lewis with, with Liverpool or William with Arsenal? And um, what do you think the future holds for one Jaden Sancho. Leave your thoughts, comments, opinions down below in the comment section. Be great to read them. Otherwise, hit that like button on the way out if you enjoy the video. Subscribe if you're new or want to see more content like this. Both things would be greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and listening. I've been Fletch. This has been another Transfer Talks video. And I will see and speak with you all again soon in another video.